the vibes that you're giving here, you can also uh, hold your wine glass, sip, and relax right here. Like Brian, he's already tired. I, I can see what you mean, Nat. Like, I feel all the, those things, the wine, the, yeah. the chateau, the everything, even the view outside, there's like trees and greeneries, even the clouds right now. Yes. But one thing that I have been noticing next to this tub is, is the spirals. Oh, the where does that lead to? Yeah, possibly, baka Narnia, <laughs> Harry Potter, let's see. I want to see Hermione when I get up there, Nat. Oh, let's see. Let's hope. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Natalia and this is... I'm Brian. And we're here to help you move in and... Move up with, with Asset, Asset Mart Global. Global. So if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for more real estate tips and property tours. So before we begin, what is this place? How many square meters? What's the lot area? Yeah, so today we are at the Teacher's Village once again. We did a shoot. Um, about teacher, uh, a unit in Teachers Village, actually. You can check that out in our YouTube channel. Now, we are here to talk about this wonderful townhouse that is still being developed, hence the elephant in the room and the things in the background, which are, which are the furnitures that they should put in into the house. So right now, we have three townhouses and each varies in lot area and floor area. So the lot area varies from 122 square meters to 128 square meters lot area. Then the floor areas to the houses varies from 355 to 389 square meters. Now, this three townhouses has a four car garage, which is where we are right now, and a four bedroom. Now, what do you think of it, Matt? It seems really great. Like it's very spacious and the fact that there are four cars that can fit in this garage and since you mentioned that it's in UP Teachers Village it's a really convenient spot do you know any close by areas yes definitely I am a UP student after yeah. all right so we're in UP Teachers Village you can see here we're near at Maginhawa a lot of food spots Katipunan a lot of bars drinking out and most importantly, we are close by to UP Town Center, which would also mean that you're close by to a mall. And we are also close by to Miriam, Ateneo, and UP Diliman, a lot of schools that are nearby, which are perfect for those who are going to start a family or college students. Maybe you and your friends can even buy this house, yeah. right? Or working professionals. So you heard that right from our resident UP student here. So now, let's check it out. Yeah, let's go. So as we enter this amazing townhouse, you'll be able to see the built-in cabinets where you can put your shoes, bags, and all of that stuff. So it's a lot of storage that you can put inside. And another thing that amazes me is smart lock because as someone that is very clumsy and forgetful, it's great and very convenient because sometimes I tend to forget my keys. So it's great that it just needs to be there. Yeah, I guess the smart lock is a good feature, but there's a surprise behind this door, guys. As you would see, there's another storage room. Or it could also be a maid's quarter if you guys want. Because inside this room, there's also a bathroom. Well, we're not gonna go in since there are a lot of things and stuff inside. And it's just dusty in general. So, But if you do avail this house, there is one maid's room in the ground floor itself together with a bathroom. And I must notice also that this is a really good door because of its design, the wooden features. It's very yeah. classic and modern as well. So let's check out the first floor. Yeah, let's go. So as you enter, you will see that it's spacious. It's a good place for a living room. Because beyond the bathroom that we did see earlier, there is another one right here. Before you reach the backyard, 
there's a bathroom. So, what I like about this place also, since, like you said, it's very spacious, you can put a lot of things here. Not just your living room, but also your entertainment room. You can also put here, like, arcade, an arcade, billiards, all that type of stuff here in this place because it's very spacious. Yeah. And again, this backyard is amazing because it could be good for pets. It could also be good for your plants and all those types of stuff that you would like to fit in here. Yeah, it's so perfect to have a backyard, especially when you're starting a family because you can put a play playground back there. Now, if we would go into this bathroom, come over here. As we would see, it's already complete with all the features. There's a shower, there's a medicine cabinet, and it's even bigger than a medicine cabinet. And there's your toiletries and your standard faucet. And it comes with the house in any of the three units that you buy. Wait, Nat, where are you? Well, I guess I'm gonna keep going with my tour by myself, right? Anyway, so another feature of this house is this special cellar that is under the staircase. Hello. Oh my god, Harry! I didn't think Harry Potter was under there, but not. tell me about that room. I didn't even notice it was there. So while you were discussing the bathroom, I got curious because there was this hidden door in this first floor. And it's really spacious too, uh, surprisingly, despite it being under the, the staircase. It even has your broker and you can fit other stuff here like your shoes and you can also put another cabinet yeah. there if you'd like. Hey Nat, do you think I can fit a small boy with like round glasses and a scar on the head over there? Of course, so it can lead you to different places. It could even be your trip to Narnia. <laughs> so let's check out the second floor. Yeah. Okay, so now as we move up into the second floor, as the first thing you would notice is there's another bathroom. You never go wrong with a bunch of bathroom in your house, especially when you have guests, right? Now you may wonder, there's an open space downstairs. So what is this big other space for facing the balcony? Oh, it's a great thing. It could also be your living room, dining area, because we'll show you the kitchen in a bit. But there's a lot of things that you can fit in here. And one thing that I really like about this place is that it has a lot of balconies, windows. So it's very well ventilated and airy, which a lot of townhouses tend to have that problem. So which is great that it has this feature. And adding on to the bathroom, what I like about the bathroom is are there also windows there? So you can can look outside if you want to have, you know, while you're doing your intimate business, but you can also put curtains there if you want to be more private. So there's an, another thing that you need to point out. Yeah, there's an open space atrium on the second floor. So if you want to show it, yeah. So we'll go show it to you right about now. So see, it will open. I can go inside if I want to, I'll show you right now. So once you're here, I mean, obviously there's no roof on top of it. Mm -hmm. So it's literally an open space. Maybe you can do yoga here. Yes. Maybe put a small gym set over here. And maybe just in general, even do your Instagram photo shoots, yes. right? Yes. You can check out our TikTok, TikTok for that video on Instagram photo shoots here. Yeah, and what I like here also, you can set out, set up your outdoor stuff here. Yes. So you can put a picnic basket, picnic table or whatever. And you can look up to the sky while you're doing so. So it's a really spacious, in a way, and airy place too. Yeah, it's such a perfect setup, especially when you're starting a family, right, Nat? Yes, definitely. Your kids can have a playground here another playground downstairs in the backyard area now uh, as we go over this space we're now in the kitchen mm -hmm. so it's not a bad transition from the dining area into the kitchen one of the things that caught my eye in this kitchen is this glass cabinet mm -hmm. look at it it's glass cabinet I mean it's not set up for being a wine cabinet mm -hmm. but you can set up a wine cabinet there yes. maybe even put jars like yeah. the cardations they do yeah. that or like the general pinterest home yes. people right so chloe kardashian in general i remember she used to have these jars that she would organize her oreos and all of her biscuits there and would display it there so ganyan siguro ang peg nyo if ever with this and what i like about this place also it has their you know, your built-in cabinets, your built-in drawers. So you can put all of your plates, your spoon and forks and everything. And also you have your sockets there for other appliances as well. Yeah, as Nat mentioned, there's a bunch of cabinets here. 
And one of the cabinets that I'd show you right now is the pantry cabinet. Mm -hmm. And there's not only one, Nat. Yes. There's two of it side by side. So yeah. if like you're feeling hungry yes. or late at night snacks yes. or you, you're a teenager that wants to sneak out food from their parents, That's true. this is the perfect place for you. Yeah, I tend to also midnight snack, so this is a great feature for someone like me. Yeah, now we move forward into the dine-in kitchen area. So you see this countertop, um, what is it made of? Ceramic or granite, I don't know. But um, you can eat here with your friends beyond the dining room. Yes. So um, as it's being cooked behind yeah. us, and then it can be served right here, so less... Um, hassle, oh, yeah. yes, and it's also nice because it's very aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. So you can even start your own cook show. Like if you're familiar with Haley Beaver, Selena Gomez, they own have they all have their own shows where they cook in front of like a camera and very similar actually you set up. And what I like also is ha it has its built-in sink. And I, as a gold girl, I really oh love God. the fact yes, that it is gold. So it's very aesthetically pleasing, very nice. I truly like this place as someone who likes to cook a lot. Yeah, definitely. And again, not on a, there's an abundance of cabinets everywhere you go. Like mm -hmm. there's another set of cabinets here and there's even one down here on this counter itself. Mm -hmm. So you never run out of space in case you need to put any utensils ingredients or whatever you need for your cooking needs, right? Yeah, and it's great. It, it truly shows that this townhouse is for a big family. It can yeah. fit a lot of stuff talaga. And not just that place, you also have the so-called dirty kitchen here where you do all of the real cooking. So there's a lot of cabinets. There's, you have your sink there also. And you can put other appliances because there's a lot of sockets aside. Yeah, I really appreciate the fact that they thought of the Asian household, right? Yes. Like, even though it's this modern, it's this nice, mm -hmm. they still managed to put a dirty kitchen into it, right? Yes. Like, it's just a perfect house, especially for an Asian household. And if you would look over here, there's even a balcony here. Mm -hmm. Just for your, maybe the cooks or maybe you yourself cooking can take a breather. Maybe there is no exhaust or you need, yes. you need to just let the air out, right? So like I said a while ago, that's a problem with townhouses. Sometimes it's too masikip. It's too, parang no, there's no air. So it's great that they put a lot of windows, a lot of balconies, just so it can be more breathable. So now maybe we can check the stairs. yeah so of course after we eat and everything yes. yeah we should check out where we're gonna sleep right so come on guys let's go up okay so now we're here in the third floor which is the majority are the bedrooms yes. and for our master bedroom we have a surprise for you it amazed me when i saw that so the first thing that i noticed in the in this floor is yeah. this the cabinet yes. again another cabinet um, I think the purpose of this is the shoe rack. Yes, definitely. There's a lot of storage. Like I said, it's really perfect for a growing family. And again, there's another set of windows, so it's really airy here. Yeah, so this window, you can look down and you're going to see the open atrium. So again, if you have kids or you want a gym, you'll see them right below us. So let's, let's go. Come here. Um, we're going to show you the bedroom. This is the first bedroom. So it's one of the smallest. So... But there is a bathroom in this bedroom, Nat. If you would notice, if you would notice, the bedroom is spacious. Yes. For for some like 120 something square meters, this is a pretty spacious bedroom. Yes, very spacious indeed. And again, there's a lot of cabinets for all of their clothes. If they have their own CR, which is great because. Okay, it, they have their own bathroom, which is great because that is considered a luxury for some to have their own bathroom. And again, they have their uh, window here, so it's very airy for them. And again, they can put curtains if they want more privacy. And, and like I said, it's very spacious. You can put your work desk here, your work area there. And you can also put multiple beds. You can have two beds or a queen-size bed or a double-deck bed right here. Yeah, it's so perfect because Again, it always goes back to the open atrium below. Mm -hmm. So if I'm your teenage son, I can see if dinner's ready down yes. there. Right? <laughs> like, 
if I'm hungry or I'm trying to sneak out, yeah. <laughs> I get to see who's below the floors, right? So, so generally, there's um, not a lot of differences between the rooms. So if you'll come over to the next room, so not there's not much difference to this bedroom than the bedroom earlier, mm -hmm. but except this gigantic space of windows. Yes. Like you can even open this for air. Yeah. 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 So like I mentioned, it's very airy here and also, again, if you're fond of seeing the outdoors and are fond of natural lighting over artificial lighting, this place or this room is great for you. Uh, this place would not be complete without your own toilet and bath. So it's great and very convenient for you. So now let's check out the master's yes, bedroom. Yes, of course. So wouldn't be a house without a room for mom and dad, right? But that room was amazing. It didn't make me feel cramped. It didn't make me feel like trapped in my own room because of the windows, right? It's so helpful as a student. Now, why do we stop here again, right? If you look here, like there's a handle for the attic. Well, right now it's closed, so I wouldn't be able to open it. But if you pull this down, there should be a staircase like in the movies. Baka nandiyan nga si Harry Potter. Or maybe the Home Alone kid, yes. right? So, <laughs> so now, let's check it out. Yeah. So coming into this, we are now in the master's bedroom. What do you notice in this room, Nat? Yeah, parang wala yung cabinets. And like I mentioned a while ago in other rooms, there's always the cabinets. The cabinets really have a lot of storage for your stuff. But dito, even though same size, wala yung cabinets. Yeah, I guess that's a surprise we'll see later as okay. we explore the master bedroom. Okay. So, I mean, it also has a bathroom, but it's way different than the bathrooms earlier. Because it's, yes. again, it's for mom and dad, right? So it must be special one yeah. way or another. And what I like about this place is it has two sinks, two mirrors, and what is great about this, hindi na mag-aagawan si mom and dad. Hindi sila sabay sila nandito. Yeah. Ngayon, they have their own, and they even have all of these shelves and uh, another cabinet for their toiletries, towels, and all of that. They even have their built-in cabinets for them as well. Yeah, it's so perfect. Even the mirror has this smart technology where if I press it, it's it's touchscreen by the way, it turns the light on. And there's another button that if I click that and the mirror has steam, it's gonna heat the steam out. So once I take a shower, it's hot, steam builds up, then it will disappear. Because of course, who would see themselves with a steamy mirror, right? So now moving over here to the Nat, what, what are you doing there? Well, we're already going to eat. We're going to eat. We're going to eat. We're going to eat. So, this is great. But I'm this close to opening this to shower. So, yeah, and what's good about this is very spacious. Um, For reference, I am 5'3 and I have a lot of space. So, now that I have a lot of space, uh, I think you can even fit in here too. Uh, so, what's your height? 5'11? Yeah, around 6 there, feet. Yeah, around so, yeah, there. you can fit here. You can even do like other stuff. And what's great about this too is that it also has a window there if you want to look out and of course you can put your own uh, curtains I'm, I'm just gonna, uh, for your own privacy gonna try it out over here as well yeah and what i like also it's giving uh hotel vibes talaga. so like you saw all of the glass showers and all of the mirrors and other the vibes that you're giving here you can also uh, fold your wine glass, sip, and relax right here. Like Brian, he's already tired. I, I can see what you mean, Nat. Like, I feel all the, those things, the wine, the, yeah. the chateau, the everything, even the view outside. There's like trees and greeneries, even the clouds right now. Yes. But one thing that I have been noticing next to this tub is, is the spirals, spirals. the staircase. Where does that lead to? Yeah, possibly, baka Narnia, Harry Potter. Let's see. I want to see Hermione when I get up there, Nat. Oh, let's see. Let's hope. Nat, I want to see Hermione when I get up these steps. Nat! Nat, where are you? Well, I guess I have to do the hosting by myself once again like earlier. Now, if we would look over here to my left, there's a big space for windows to get to see. Who are you? Where are you? So, what's amazing about this place, this huge walk-in closet, is there 
cabinets. And like I showed you a while ago, I could even fit inside of them. So that's how big they are. Wait, where were you? Were you here? Yes, I was here. So I was able to fit in these cabinets. So again, like I said, I'm 5'3 for your reference. And like a while ago in the kitchen, they even have these glass cabinets for you to display your jewelry, your items, and all of your luxury goods. Yeah, guys, if you feel like you were worrying there's no cabinets for the master bedroom, here it is. It's everywhere. It's around us. I feel like a model standing here. Yes, especially with the full body mirror. Yeah, there's so much space even into this walk-in closet. I wouldn't call it walk-in, maybe upstairs closet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but again, there's a space in front of us, a big space. You can put your makeup cabinets there, maybe even put a game room in front of it if you would want to, right? Yes. So I guess that is it. Yeah, I guess that's it. This is the whole house in Teacher's Village again. Yes. It's perfect for maybe friends, group of friends who wants to live together, families, starting yes. out families. It's complete with everything, schools, everything you need. Like, yeah. yeah. So this marks the end of our house tour here in... Teacher's Village, Quezon City. So yes, if you're interested in this property, call this number. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for more real estate tips and property tours. So again, I'm Natalia and this is... Brian. So we're here to help you move in... And move up with, with Asset Mart Global. Global. Bye! <laughs>